Hey, how's it going? I'm so moved by what is happening in the world at the moment. Yet again, another thing has happened. And just wanted to tune into all of the emotion, the anger, and the sadness, grief, disappointment, and all of the emotions that are happening on our stages in the world in regards to all of the anguished and all of the people today. So I'm going to do a face meditation while we release some of this tension in our bodies and in our faces. Um, I originally wanted to jump on this call to share with you some of the ways to liberate yourself internally so that you can show up more powerfully for your community. There are so many communities that need our voices and need our support at this moment. Yesterday I hopped on a call at 3 a.m. to be with a community of all colors and to hear from some of these voices that have been experiencing tremendous intensity in the last few days. And as an Asian woman, this is a very um, difficult and new topic that moves me because and to tears and to and to and and stirs up a lot of emotions that I didn't know that I had so in this face meditation I would like us to be present to all of the people who are fighting for their freedom and their equality and for their voices to be heard. You know, whether you're in Hong Kong and you've just experienced a change and shift in your own freedoms or you're experiencing a lot of pain and outrage if you're in the U.S., or if you are in anywhere else in the world and you're going through your own experiences of saying no to to violence and to violation and no longer keeping quiet because I've seen so many different posts that mention that there is strength in banding together and strength in speaking up for those whose voices are less heard. And it's not that this is a new thing, right? Like, we always knew that there are people's voices who are less heard and that they're more at um, they are treated unfairly so just taking this moment together to really sit with what's been going on in the world and however it's showing up for you because there are so many people right now who are activated and and while that can be you too I want you to just tune in and notice like how you are feeling towards it Personally, I had no idea that I had previously um, faced like even the word itself is hard to say, right? Faced discriminations because of my race. You know, I went to A German school when I was young in Germany and I was the only Asian girl 
and maybe like one of the two, maybe there was one other one in a different grade. And, um, and there were a lot of non-violent or, you know, there were, there, I mean, there were a lot of teasing and bullying and all that. And so as you're tuning into, and the reason I share this is because sometimes we can feel our role more in the world and what our role is in this context of what's happening not by following what other people are expressing and not by following what other people are experiencing, but by truly tuning into what we are feeling towards this and honoring what stirs up within us. So as we're doing this face meditation together, you can grab your tool if you have one. If not, you can PM me and I can show you where to get one. You can put some cream on your face and um, this has been really fun actually and as you're scraping your face just tune into your heart and feel what it is that you're feeling at this moment as you connect with a global community and instead of jumping straight away to what actions you want to take although if you have are very clear on that feel free to meditate on that but if you're just in a space that you're wanting to come to a place of calm as you continue your day just allow your eyes to close taking a deep breath in and allowing yourself to come to a place of gentle relaxation, gentle tuning in, not resisting any of the feelings or the emotions that have been shown to you in this day, today, wherever you're finding this. If you're watching this without closing your eyes, feel free to send some support to all of those who are watching it and following along with a heart. And allowing yourself to just let your body deeply breathe in. And honor the most tender parts of you as you show up into this world today. Knowing that there are so many different lives and experiences that exist in our world. And we can't take the blessings that we have for granted. And we shouldn't ignore the deeper pains that you're holding, that we are holding because we're turning a blind eye when someone else has treated us in an abusive or violent way in the past. It starts from creating those boundaries and understanding what power and what we deserve or what you have already because sometimes we're born with some of these privileges or rights or blessings that we take for granted as people in other countries social classes backgrounds and different places may not have so I want you to tune into that and truly feel at one with some of these people who are grieving 
outraged. And who are hurt, deeply hurt. Feeling helpless. And heartbroken. I want you to deeply sit with these feelings of our fellow humans. Deeply breathing in with them in their breath by simply empathizing. And maybe some of this brings up your own past experiences. And feel free to allow these emotions to come through too. To understand that we'll never be able to truly comprehend what another is going through. But we can sit with them in the depths of their experience. And by only sitting with our own depths and being open to accept our own complex arena and dynamic of emotions. Are we able to truly show up for another? Just give me a like if you agree. (sighs) Let's breathe in together again. I feel like I need to get like clear cream or something, but I really don't like oil because it it really clogs up the pores when we're doing this. So today I was able to tune in to some of the deep rooted anger. Deep, deep, deep rooted anger and anguish of so many that are suffering from what's happening. And it's very difficult for me to personally, and maybe it's not for you and it's fine, but personally, it's very difficult for me to experience the sheer passion and force and power that anger, frustration and love and care and explosive emotion can all exist in the same space. And yesterday I witnessed this so intensely from one of my community members and it was it was a lot to take in and um, and when we have a safe space like this to share where we are at with everything it is very lucky to hold each other in each other's experiences not diminishing any voices and allowing all of that to exist. So obviously there's no solution at the moment, like there's no clear method or strategy forwards, right, um, that can solve and eradicate whatever is happening. But I do know one thing, and that is by starting with ourselves. That we can find within ourselves and tune in within ourselves that which is ours to hold and be able to sit with the uncomfortable
and breathe into it. Then there exists an opportunity and a place for unity. A place where we can increase the awareness of the possibility to receive each other no matter our color no matter our age social status and just to see each other as human soul to soul each having valuable experience to share and to stand together in whatever capacity that is. Doesn't have to be super big, doesn't have to be super small. <laughs> whatever you feel in call to. So today's base meditation. is all about creating that journey and that space to open up and to experience in our own world where you want to be and what role you want to play in this movement whether that is showing up more fully for your friends whether that is giving space for your community to express themselves and their experiences more readily without needing to separate from them. Whether that is outrage or grief or sadness. Whatever that is. Have an experience and have a tune in. Because that's what makes you human. And if you choose not to, and choose not to be moved by this, or not to check in, that's okay too. And And you may not have something immediate, like an immediate response, and it may take some time for you to formulate something that represents what's in alignment to you. So sometimes it takes a little time to calibrate and to take in what's present for you too. So my message today is be patient and honor your own experience but don't hide it. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> Just let it be. And then react on however it is. I'm going to wave to people. Oh, so I wish you so much joy and calmness in your own space despite everything that's happened and if you have been affected in any way about it please share resources and reach out or let me reach out to you let's hold this space together for everyone to process together there's so much value in hearing everyone's voices during this time
Okay, that's my face meditation for today. <sighs> very, very, very potent things that's been happening. The other thing, <laughs> hi Lani, hope you're doing well in Hong Kong. Like this is what's happening on this balcony. And um, I also wanted to share that this is why we've created and I've created the Liberated Leadership Program to find your own voice and maybe you already know what that is and to create a style of leadership that is reflective of your own gifts, that's reflective of your own communication style and reflective of who you've become and the change that you would like to see in this world. I've just posted a couple of things on my wall about that, so you're welcome to check it out. And if you are one of these people and you're feeling curious about it, reach out to me. I'm holding a couple of calls this week to investigate and see what's going to serve our community the best, and so I'd love to hop on a conversation. Hey guys, thanks for joining. Really great seeing you here. Hi from Paris. Sending some loving balcony love to you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Take really good care and um, enjoy your Monday.